morning, everyone, and welcome to Think Future. My name is Chris Calabucas, and once again, we're coming at you live from deep in the heart of Silicon Valley, California. Deep, deep, deep in the heart of Silicon Valley, California. We're talking innovation startups of the future. Not necessarily those, and not necessarily in that order. If you're watching on YouTube, smack that subscribe button and hit that bell so you'll be notified when a new show comes online. And if you're listening on your favorite podcast service, please subscribe and please drop a note on Apple Podcasts. I greatly, greatly, greatly appreciate it. So, I think we've finally seen the end of smartphone innovation. That's right, folks. Smartphone innovation has finally ground to a screeching, screeching halt. And... You're probably saying, Chris, what are you talking about? What do you mean smartphone innovation has ground to a screeching halt? There's plenty of innovative things happening in the smartphone space. And I said, really? At least when it comes to form factor, everything's looking pretty similar. In fact, and everything's acting pretty similar. Where is the innovation in the smartphone space? Now, I'll tell you why I came up with this. So I switch up my phone every four years or so, and I bought the iPhone Pro, mm, I don't know, six or seven months ago. And I thought, well, that little dynamic island thing, that's a really interesting innovation. So they take the little notch that's on the front of your phone and they turn it into a place to dis display things. So I thought that was pretty creative, creative little innovation to do that. But then I realized that, wait a minute, so this phone, the iPhone 14, is basically styled exactly the same way as, you know, previous iPhones. They keep switching the style from a rounded thing to a flat thing to a rounded thing to a flat thing to a round thing. it's like make up your mind is this thing going to be rounded or is this going to be flat and the last one was rounded now this one's flat and i thought okay so we're just going through iteration design iterations we're going back to where it was before what are we trying to do be nostalgic anyway so that was last year and then it was tr my turn for my wife's phone to be upgraded so we went and looked at the brand new Samsung S23, or is that right? Galaxy 23? And I'm looking at it, and I'm going, okay, this form factor is almost exactly the same as my iPhone Pro, 14 Pro. It's almost exactly the same. I mean, look at it. The shape is almost exactly the same. The size is almost exactly the same. The screen is 6.1 inches. Everything looks exactly the same. The only difference is that when I flip it over, instead of seeing three lenses in that configuration, I see it in a line configuration. So I thought to myself, okay, you know, we've, I think we've, I mean, we've probably reached the end of smartphone innovation years and years ago, because if you think about it, the form factor of these phones has not really changed in forever. I mean, basically what we're playing with right now is a larger version of the original iPhone form factor wise. And there was a period of time when I thought, well, maybe we can do something really innovative on the form factor. People were putting out curved phones and flip phones and folding phones and this phone and that phone. And sure, there are folding phones and there are flip phones. And I, I've heard a rumor that there's going to be a folding iPad which is interesting because I came up with a, a science fiction story a long time ago uh, set in the year 2025, which is what, two years from now, where everybody would have something called an XDA. And it was a kind of a smartphone type device, but it would fold out to an eight and a half inch piece of paper. And then you could fold it in half and look at it as a half sheet of paper. And you could fold it in half again and just look at it as a as a quarter sheet of paper, and you can fold it in half again and have it as an eighth sheet of paper, which would be around about the size of your smartphone. And then the thing would be covered completely with screens. So in every single configuration, whether it was eight and a half by 11 or folded up into a smartphone, everything would be a screen and you would just look at it and you could screen. Now screen technology is starting to get close to something like that. Not quite there, maybe in the next couple of years, who knows? Everything will happen, the only question is when. So maybe that prediction will turn out to be true. But every single solitary cell phone that has been coming out, every single solitary smartphone looks exactly the same as this. Why can't we come up with phones that look different, that act different, that are different? Why does everything have to be the same? Why does smartphone innovation have to uniform itself like this. 
have we basically decided that we can't do anything new we can't do anything different we can't do anything innovative nobody wants anything new different innovative well, maybe that's the case maybe that's the thing with human beings is that human beings we say we want things new we say we want interesting things we say we want things that are out of the ordinary but when it comes right down to it when we're actually ready to put our money down to buy something we only want what's slightly incrementally better or we want the same thing that everybody else does is this mimetic theory is it because so-and-so has this phone that I want the same phone that I want the same phone everybody wants the same phone the only difference is the same it looks exactly the same the only difference is it's a little bit bigger a little bit smaller where is the innovation in the smartphone space everything is uniform now and what we need to do is to break out of that uniformity otherwise there's not going to be anything new there's not going to be anything different. And if you ask me, we've hit the end of the line when it comes to these things. We need some kind of a radical departure in personal communication devices so that we can get away from this. Maybe it's AR glasses. Maybe it's Apple's AR glasses. Maybe Google Glass will be coming back in a completely different form factor. All I'm saying is that we've pretty much halted on the form factor front for innovation in smartphones. And everything from this point on will be same old, same old, same old. Is there a way for supposedly the most innovative company in the world to actually create a brand new device? Or is it basically going to be the same thing over and over and over again? That's it for me for today. See you next time, and until then, don't forget to think future.